So in this video, I'm gonna talk about keeping this control column straight, single engine. This is by far uh, one of the many frustrations that you can find yourself dealing with in single engine operations is the fact that the autopilot doesn't trim the rudder. So effectively, every time there is a thrust change or an airspeed change, it will require a rudder change. And if you don't change it, the control column will remind you because it's ultimately not gonna be straight. So I'm gonna give you an example. We're at 5,000 feet. 250 knots, let's say ATC and advise you to reduce speed at 210, okay? Or even if they didn't, you're an emergency aircraft, so ultimately you're gonna do whatever you need to do. But let's say you need to slow to 210, so I select it, which means really nothing because the auto throttle's not on. So now I have to reduce the thrust. Now keep in mind, my trim is at about, uh, I would say two and a half, maybe three units right now which is fine for the current airspeed and the current thrust setting. Because we're reducing speed now, I'm gonna ultimately reduce the thrust levers, which means less thrust and less rudder is gonna be required. Now watch what happens to the control column. The control column starts to offset like this. It's turning to the left. And the reason it's turning left is because we now have this trim that's still yawing the aircraft and also rolling the airplane because a yaw induces a roll. So the yaw from the rudder trim is having the tendency to roll the airplane away from the assigned heading here of 045. And as it rolls away from 045, we're now on a heading of 048, the autopilot's trying to correct the only way it knows, which is with, auto, with aileron input because it has no rudder authority. So ultimately I have to reduce the rudder input to the direction of the control column in order to keep this level. The challenge now is that we're up on our speed so now I got to come back in with power, which is yet again another power change, which ultimately is going to drive to the necessity for more rudder input. So now you can see I got to add rudder input the opposite direction. So ultimately, to simplify this, keep this in mind. The direction that the column is pointed is the direction that you need to trim. So it's pointed to the right, which means I need right rudder trim. Now I will share with you it's delayed. I just trimmed a little bit, but you didn't see the column move right away. So you have to be patient with it. I'm gonna add a little more power, about 75% level flight is what you need for two, two 10 knots. Um, so here we are, I'm gonna apply right rudder trim and wait. And you can see there's a, that slight delay. I'm gonna see how it reacts. Then I'm gonna add a little bit more. If you're looking at your PFD, you could also look to your slip skid indicator to keep it aligned with the sky pointer, which is that triangle. And ultimately, if we have the slip skid indicator aligned with the sky pointer, then we should have also a column uh, aligned straight and level as it should be. This is one of the real challenges and frankly burdens uh, that you deal with with an autopilot that doesn't trim the rudder, is that your rudder necessities vary with airspeed and with thrust. And so as you make these thrust applications or reductions and these airspeed variations, you find yourself constantly back here uh, having to use this rudder input, whether it be an input or a, or a removal of rudder uh, trim. And finally, we have the autopilot on, so I'm seeing the column. Ultimately, if I didn't have the autopilot on, I would be fighting with myself because the airplane would be wanting to roll and I would be applying counter inputs to stop it, which is the tall tale sign that you need to apply rudder. So. That's a lot for one video, but the last cherry on top would be use the autopilot as much as possible. It opens up your work, uh, it reduces your workload by opening your mental bandwidth so you can actually get a feel for what's happening. And it also allows you to be able to see the control column as far as whether it's centered or not. We're slightly above the speed. I always like to be faster in single engine operations. Airspeed is life. Uh, having energy on your side is a good thing to do single, opera single engine operations. So, with that, there's another single engine tip for you. Uh, and we'll see you in another video. As always, go back and replay it as many times as needed. We'll see you in another one.